Hello! Know what I did last summer? I did a bathing suit! Yeah! A bathing suit from an original 1930s pattern. Despite the fact that I questioned my life's choices about five times during the process, I had fun. And more importantly, I had an awesome bathing suit, where previously I had none. So I decided to make another one this year, but this time I'm inviting you all to join me in the swimsuit shenanigans. Enter a vintage pool party. The idea is to make a bathing suit from either an original vintage or historical pattern, or to draft one yourself, as long as it looks vintage or historical. If you want, you can join us on Discord, link below, or by using the hashtag Vintage Pool Party when you go online. You can sew, crochet, or knit whatever floats your boat. Boat. See what I did there? Whatever you decide to do, have fun, and I cannot wait to see your creations. So this year I decided to once again knit a bathing suit, this one a two-piece from the 1940s. However, that's going to take a while because it's being knitted on very tiny needles. So. I opted to sew one too. This decision was partly spurred by this fantastic fabric I found while I was fabric shopping for my historical Disney project, but more about that in a later video. This striped orange caught my eye and stole my heart. Isn't it cute? I just, I, I want to have babies with it. I love it so much. As for the pattern, I used the same 1940s two-piece bathing suit sewing pattern that I had seen Gracie Patton and Lindsay from This One Stitches using in their videos. I love to see people using the same pattern but then giving it their own spin. I mean, look how different these two are. Now, let's see how mine will turn out. Let's get sewing! Okay, mock-up. The top fits fine, the bottoms do not. They are too big. I need to take it in. I think I'm gonna try and take it in a little bit. Oopsie doopsie. I think I'm gonna try and take it in just a tiny, tiny bit on all sides so that the leg's gonna be less... The leg's gonna be less floopy. Full... <laughs> How do you say this? Less open. A little bit more like so. And I think I'm just gonna go for it. Adjust the pattern and then dive straight in. Because one mock-up is basically all I have time and energy and patience for. So... Whoever said you can't buy happiness was lying because I bought this fabric and it makes me very happy. So what you just saw me painstakingly pin together was entirely wrong because it's not supposed to be like folded over half and half but rather the almost entire piece of this is on top of this and this this tiny tiny little edge gets stitched over the bottom at least that's what I think is supposed to happen but this makes way more sense so I'm gonna top stitch this down and then take this with me to the playground where my daughter can wear herself out so that she can have a good long afternoon nap. So I tested the fabric to see if it would get very see-through and wet and while I didn't think it got that see-through it did leave me with a burning desire to line the pants just in case. So that's what I did. 
Okay, so I'm determined to make the bow that goes with it because it's hella cute. But if I tie it, it looks kind of crappy. So I have taken the liberty of cutting out some remaining fabric and then just sort of seaming it, turning it inside out. You know the drill. And now I'm going to use this to make a prettier bow. I hope. The bow is done. However, when looking at the picture as to where it should be placed, I am a bit confused because the middle part seems to be a hell of a lot smaller than what I've got going on here. I think I've followed the instructions correctly. I mean, gathering here and this fit exactly, so I, I don't think I've mixed it up. And I, I did follow the notches, I think. So I am really confused why this is so big. Hmm. So enjoy the lovely gardening sounds of my neighbors. They're all being very productive today and why shouldn't they? It's a lovely day to work in the garden. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, here's what I did. I folded in the edge, uh, the outside edge, the inside, and then slip stitched it in place with very large slip stitches. And then I folded the edge of the lining to the inside and slip stitched that onto the folded in edge of the outside. I've just abandoned the instructions completely at this point and just did what felt right and what seemed to work better because uh, the previous move, um, which was stitching them both as one layer to the inside, I mean, folding them over as one layer and then stitching it to the inside left me with weird wrinkly stuff here and I, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be lined. So there's that. So I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm gonna attach the um, binding and the facing for the back. And I hope I can get all this done without weird wrinkles here, because this is just asking for trouble. Please still be asleep. Okay. Ah! Yes. Okay, so now you know why I sneak outside to record this bit. Okay, so I have sewn on the facings. What I think I'm gonna do right now is tuck the lining under and then, yeah, I don't know, just kind of fold a tiny bit under and then see if I can not get this to lie flat and nice and get it to behave with minimum distortion and wrinkles on the outside. Might have to stitch this back up a bit by hand because obviously I can't lay it on the machine anymore, can't reach it. And if that all works, it's on to the yeah, legs. What do you call this? The, the legs? The the trouser leg? No. Yeah. It's almost finished. I've put on the waistband and the other waistband. And crazy bias tape is what I live for. Isn't it glorious? I love crazy bias tape. This is gonna go disappear to the inside. But I will know it's there. Oh yeah. You know how with every project you learn a little bit more about yourself? Well, this project taught me that I really hate sewing in snaps. Hate. Hate, 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 hate. Sonic, I 
would never have guessed. <laughs> Juliet! Juliet! Let's get sewing. Why do I make the cutting sign? Let's get sewing. Let's get, I give up. <laughs>